I'm Kim the Abundant Traveler and welcome to my YouTube channel. I put out laid back luxury travel videos inspiring you to go buy that plane ticket and get out there and go. This video is all about the Amalfi Coast. Not any specific village, just what it's like to go to the Amalfi, what to do, how to get there, how to get around, how to plan, and a few tips and tricks about pricing, booking hotels, and excursions. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what the Amalfi Coast is and where is it. It is a stretch of 13 villages ranging from Positano to Ravello to Priano. It's an area about 50 kilometers long on the south side of the Sorrentino peninsula so Sorrento's on the north and the Amalfi Coast is on the south but not all of the villages are located on the coast there are three I believe that are located up in the mountains the most famous being Ravello and Ravello is a must stop when you're visiting the Amalfi Coast so the Amalfi Coast, not to be confused with the town or the city of Amalfi, there's actually a city called Amalfi and the Amalfi Coast is named after this particular city. The reason for that is that the town of Amalfi was a very important seaport throughout history. Hence the name Amalfi Coast and the 13 villages that surround the city of Amalfi. But how do you get to the Amalfi? There are several ways to get there, but none of them are super, super easy. So if you're coming from Naples, you can actually take a train or a bus from Naples down to Sorrento or from Naples down to the other end to Salerno. Then from there, you have to take a seat of bus into one of the Amalfi villages, whether you're going to Positano or Ravello or you're going to the town of Amalfi or Minori. That's one way to get there. The other way is to take a bus no matter which way you're coming, even if you're coming from Naples as well. Right now in 2022, they are limited in cars that are going into the Amalfi. So it's like, if your license plate has an odd number, you can only go on these days. If your license plate has an even number, it, you can only go on these days. However, private cars and private drivers, you can go, they, they're exempt from these rules and they can take you at any time. It is worth spending, say, 100 euros if you're staying in Naples and you're trying to get to the Amalfi. It's worth the time and effort to just go ahead and rent a car, rent a driver, have them get you to the Amalfi as quickly as possible. It is the best case scenario and it's money well spent because every vacation is limited with time. So why would you waste all that time doing all the logistics and carrying your luggage? The best way to get around is by ferry. You can take a ferry from Sorrento around. You can take a ferry from Capri over to the Amalfi Coast. You can take ferries from Naples over to the Amalfi Coast. Also, there's never any traffic in the Mediterranean. So it's very easy and the distances, it's maybe 50 minutes to an hour and a half depending on where you're coming from to get around to the Amalfi. So my suggestion is, go by ferry. Also, if you go by ferry, make sure that you book your ferry tickets a few days in advance if you are going, especially during high season. If you're not going during high season, that's okay in the shoulder season. But also with the ferry, something to note, they don't run all winter long. So be careful about that as well. You'll wanna take a car in the middle of winter. You'll take a ferry in the spring, fall, and summer. But book those ferry tickets in advance. So how long should you stay on the Amalfi Coast? Well, my opinion is stay as long as you possibly can. I mean, if you've got a trip planned to Italy, do not go to Florence and Venice and Rome and Milan and then try and go to the Amalfi as well. Spend as much time as possible. I was on the Amalfi Coast and in Naples for three weeks. And I am looking back thinking, I wish I'd done this. I wish I'd gone here. I wish I'd done this. There were so many things that I missed in the three weeks that I was there. So spend as much time as you possibly can. You know, people always ask me how safe is it, especially for solo female travelers. I found the Amalfi extremely safe. It was really easy to get around. All the buses were safe. All the trains were safe. Maybe pickpockets on some of the trains, so be aware of that but no issues with the bus. It was very safe. I could walk around at midnight, one o'clock in the morning by myself on the roads as long as I was careful about oncoming cars and I felt very safe meeting people, talking to people and doing everything that I wanted to do on the Amalfi Coast. 
Now that we've discussed how long to stay, the next is where should you stay? Well, I have put in the description below several hotels in many of the different villages, the most popular and easiest to get around. Priano, Positano, Amalfi, etc. But if you are on a budget, then I recommend going to some of the smaller towns, maybe go to Minori or actually go to Salerno and stay in Salerno or go to Sorrento and stay in Sorrento and take day trips into the different cities. One of the most expensive towns is Positano. I stayed in a really fantastic three-star hotel right next to the church. Again, link below. And it was about $350 a night, and I would say that was inexpensive for Positano. Whereas if I had stayed in some of the smaller villages, even Priano, which is next door to Positano, my hotel would have been a lot less expensive. I just wanted to stay in Positano, so I paid the money. When you are booking your hotel, again, I mentioned book it far in advance, but also look on the map and see where your hotels are. Your hotels, you either want it very close to the road where the car can drop you off or the bus can drop you off, or you wanna make sure that you hire a porter. You also, on in Positano, for example, you can be staying up the hill way on this side, which is the money shot here, but you may want to go to a restaurant over here, and it is 20 minutes of walking up steps and down steps. And if you're doing that two or three times a day, you won't get anything done. So do pay attention to where your hotel is on the map. That is extremely important in these towns that are up and down. So while you're staying on the Amalfi, you have to get around. And again, as I mentioned previously, don't rent a car, it's not worth it. Parking is expensive. Sometimes you can't even get into the Amalfi because your license plate is an odd number or an even number. And also the roads are packed, especially during the middle of the day. So I recommend that you take the CETA bus. They're big buses, they know what they're doing. It only takes about two to three euros. You can buy your bus tickets in the tobacco places. Uh, tobacco is what it says. But it's, you know, anywhere from one euro 80 to like two euro 80 to go anywhere on the Amalfi Coast. And it's a great way to travel. That's the only way I suggest traveling along the Amalfi Coast, unless you're taking that ferry. Just something to note about the roads and even taking a ferry. Bring your motion sickness. If you get sick in the car, you have to bring your boning, Dramamine, whatever you take, because those roads are so windy and they are hairpin turns. And I promise you will get motion sick if you have a problem with that. Also on the ferries, also on the road, taking the bus, or even in the back seat of a car. Just be really careful and bring your motion sickness stuff. The Amalfi Coast in general is jagged and rugged and rocky, and there are steps everywhere. There is tons of walking, tons, tons, tons of walking, lots of steps, slick steps, because of course they've been walked on for hundreds and hundreds of years. It is some serious up and down Stairmaster everywhere you go on the Amalfi. That being said, make sure to bring sturdy shoes, good soles, leave your stilettos at home. It's miserable if you wear, trying to wear too fancy of a shoe. The area is very trendy and very hip, so you do wanna have some nicer clothes in the evening to go to restaurants if you're gonna go to some fancier restaurants or to some of the cool bars that are out there like Franco's and Positano, those types of places. You definitely want to have nice clothes as well. They make you cover up. You cannot wear a bathing suit at restaurants. So you have to have cover ups with you, but definitely bring your bathing suit. Also bring water shoes because there aren't great sandy beaches anywhere in the Malfi. Again, it's up and down and rocky everywhere. So bring some water shoes as well. So if you're looking for the right things to pack for the Amalfi Coast, make sure to go to the description below and click my free guide. I have a all-inclusive guide to everything you need to pack for an entire trip to the Amalfi Coast. Also, there are not a lot of public beaches on the Amalfi and the public beaches may be only like this little teeny sliver. And then they have beach clubs where you can rent a uh, bed, an umbrella, get some food and all of that. My recommendation to you is go ahead and get that beach chair and that umbrella. If you're gonna spend the day at the beach, enjoy it. Go ahead and order food from them, cocktails, Aperol spritzes, lemon, lemon chilla spritzes, and all of that, and just live the high life and rent a chair and an umbrella. Let's talk a little bit about food, shopping, and costs of things. Well, the food you need to eat while you're on the Amalfi Coast 
definitely limoncello and limoncello spritzes. You have to try the lemons while you're in the area. Also get the uh, lemon sorbet in the gigantic uh, Amalfi lemon. Also they're famous for seafood, including pasta fongole, which is the clams. They're famous for mussels. They're also famous for squid and fresh fish as well. They're also famous for a zucchini pasta dish with uh, fried slices of zucchini. They're also famous for the caprese salad because the tomatoes, the Sorrento tomatoes, come from the inland of that area. Just make sure if you're gonna get a caprese salad, you ask them what the tomatoes are and make sure that it is fresh mozzarella. That mozzarella should be, have little holes in the middle and when you cut into it, it should be like little bits of water run out. What should you buy? While you're in the Amalfi, sandals. They're famous for making sandals. Uh, they're flat, they're easy going. They, some of them have straps, some have straps up your ankle, some of them have bling, some are super, super simple. So you can watch them make the sandals right in front of you, your personal pair. You can also buy pottery, famous for several different types of pottery. The beautiful blues with yellows and lemons is one, and then the dark, rich greens and royal blues, as well as some funny little plates from Ravello, which is famous for their pottery with these little snails on them or sheep on them. Lots and lots of pottery is available. Uh, definitely buy pottery while you're there. Buy limoncello and take anything lemon back. Take all your friends' gifts of lemon soap, limoncello, lemon this, lemon that, lemon everything. Also, these Positano shirts or these Amalfi shirts. I bought a couple of these. I love wearing these shirts back in Texas. And also linen and anything blue. Plenty of high-end shopping in Positano and more easygoing shopping in the town of Amalfi, which is a little more typical touristy. Or you can do less expensive shopping in say, Crayano or Minori or Atrani. Let's talk a little bit about costs in the Amalfi Coast in general. It's expensive. It just is. Bring your credit card, bring lots of money. As I mentioned about hotels in Positano, they're extremely expensive. Meals, like if you're in Naples, you can get a, pizza, a, a whole pizza for five, six euros. Whereas on the Amalfi Coast anywhere, it's gonna be 10 to 15 to 17 euros for pizza. Your Aperol spritzes, are going to be a minimum, I would say, of 10 euros unless you're going way off the beaten path. You can spend up to 25 euros, depending on where you go, for Aperol and Limoncello spritzes. Pasta dishes are typically, they're like 20 to 25 euros, whereas in other parts of Italy, they may be eight to 12 euros. So just be prepared to spend some money when you're on the Amalfi Coast. Let's now talk about what towns you have to visit as well as things that you have to do. First and foremost, what you have to do is rent a boat. If you can't drive a boat, have somebody rent a boat and drive you around. There is nothing like going to see these towns from the boat. And if you have extra time, then I recommend spending a week on a catamaran, which is the first thing I did. I went with a company called Intersail Club. I've left the link in the description below. Tell them that I sent you. You might get a little discount. I spent a week on a catamaran, which was to die for, but definitely take a boat out for the day or for sunset. That's number one thing to do. I also recommend going hiking. I hiked the Path of the Gods. There is so much hiking between the 13 villages. It is well worth doing that. Definitely drink lemon chiller spritzes at least one or two every single day. That's extremely important and on the Amalfi Coast. Everybody's drinking Aperol spritzes, but I think you should drink lemon chiller spritzes since the lemon cello comes from this part of Italy. There's plenty to do, but you do want some downtime. So spend some time on the beach, having a cocktail, enjoying your time and enjoying your vacation. So of the 13 villages, my recommendations for must stop. Positano, number one, gotta go to Positano. I also think that you have to go to Ravello as well and see like Village Chimbroni. It's incredible up there. The weather is cooler. Nobody's there in the evenings because it really comes in for the day. So it is well worth spending time in Ravello. I also I also think that you should go to the beach, if I can say this town correctly, Fiore. I think I said it right. 
tiny little town, little teeny cove beach, which is very, very cool. Just make sure to go there when the sun is straight up because there's so many cliffs that it's not in the sun for very long. And I recommend going to the town of Amalfi and doing some shopping. Also, the town of Amalfi is a great jumping off point for all the other places. When you're in the Amalfi, also go around to the little teeny town of Atrani, which is one of the smallest towns, I think. It's 0.12 of a kilometer, is what I read. Uh, one of the smallest towns in all of Italy. So definitely go there. Those are my highlights and those are my top picks for visiting the t those particular towns while you're on the Amalfi. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. You found it valuable. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It is so, so important to subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Kim the Abundant Traveler and I will see you on the next adventure, hopefully in Italy very, very soon. See y'all, bye.